All right, it's August 2nd, 2022. We're in Carlboro, North Carolina to continue on our quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started. We're on West Main Street right now across from Jade Palace, a Chinese seafood restaurant over there. I know a little bit is beside it. I'm not sure what that is. I can't see the sign. I'm getting closer. Napoli, I believe is what that says. Looks like it's a, a restaurant, maybe. Cafe. A couple of little Bank of America right here on my right. I parked right here on the right, a municipal parking lot, two hour parking. And, uh, saw it was, uh, somebody had tagged it right there. It's nice parking right there. It's got security cameras and all. And got a uh, food truck parked over there in the back, but I don't think any food's coming out of it. <laughs> Not sure. It's early morning, about 9.30. Right here at the Friendly Barbershop. Opened up in there today. Doing good business, it looks like. Not sure what this business is. I can't really step off to see any signs. Building looks good. Like I said, I can't step off right there. This is Acme right here, 110 East Main. That's a nice looking restaurant inside there. Dinner, Wednesday through Sunday, five to nine. New, can, new media campaigns, sign there. I guess on the other side of this building. Yeah, Carborough is about west of Chapel Hill if you kind of want to know where I'm at, you hadn't ever heard of Carborough before. Before I hadn't, and this is my first time here for sure. Got some cool old buildings in town. You can see there's water damage all through there. All day records right here. Got their vinyl shop in there. Still got they got a lot of stuff in there. They closed right now though. I don't like to see these old air conditions out front. Got many splits these days, so I don't know why people don't do that a realty company here We've got some nice girls over there building there there's the other side as a girl walks by with her dog and that's the spotted dog over there so I'm guessing that's a pet shop if we come back down I'm not sure if we're gonna do a walk back down through there but if we do we'll look at it got a little in the library here yeah Carboro was Named after Julian Carr, I believe is the end. Yeah, Julian Carr. But he never lived here, so I ain't really sure why they picked him. I guess they thought he was somebody special, I'm sure. That's usually the way that works. Had a few other names before it became that. West End was one of them. This is wax. Poetic right here. I like that, those paintings up there. That looks good. That's the kind of stuff you look more in your town right there. It just draws your interest in right there. Mm -hmm. Let's continue on. Got another cool looking building. This is this and that gifts. Like I say, it's Tuesday in early morning, so a lot of the stores will be closed on Tuesday. And even if they're not closed, they don't open this early. I ever look back. The thing I'm noticing is a lot of trash on the street. Not a Big trash, but just stuff thrown down, not very well kept up. I don't know what this little box is right here. Different businesses up through there. All the windows up there, that's looking good. Atlas Bar here. They got a few little cool places here. Let's see what this last one is right here before we get to the intersection. Let us cater your next event. Armadillo Grill, so that still looks cool. Nah, they Sunday through Thursday, Friday and Saturday, open around 11. All right, let's come up here to the corner. I'm trying to stay out of the sun. We're kind of walking into it right now. There's a look down this side street. That's pretty down through there. I like their sign. I got a neon sign, and that probably looks cool when it's lit up at night. And it looks like people can sit out there. So they got more parking over there. Then they got their train station train station over there 
and uh, we'll walk over there and check that out here as soon as the light changes. I tell you what, let's go on across here and then we'll cut back down. Uh, yeah, it was called West End because uh, this was the end of the line of the train that run down through here. I think it was, I won't say university, train station or something or another. Hold on just a second, let me check it out. Yeah, it was called uh, State University Railroad. And then Alberta Mill is big here. It's a big mill town as well. I don't know if those buildings are part of that or not. But anyway, that's the train station right there. Let's walk one up a little bit further. This town's not that big. And so far, there's been plenty of parking. I imagine at night, if people start visiting those bars, it could get a little crowded. So here's the track. Now, it's the end of the line right here, I guess. Still is, I imagine. Looks like we got some stuff down that way. We may go that way earlier. So these are some newer buildings here. Rise, Southern Biscuits and Chicken, things like that. Something called Fleet Fleet and Credit Union. I feel like I'm getting out of the center here as it gets newer looking. We'll go a little bit further. This is a East Main now, I believe, once you cross wherever tracks back there, I believe that was the center of town right there. Yeah, you're getting, your, getting on out. And, let me cross real quick. Getting a strip mall look here. I see a mural off in the distance, it's like a parking deck. But I don't think I'm going to go any further. A couple of, couple of buildings down there on the ends that stretches on out. This is the town center, center video, and I believe that's the town center right down there that we just went through. And you keep going up that way to my right, and that was Chapel, take you in Chapel Hill. Gourmet Kingdom. They got some problem with tigers around here, that's a shame. They need to clean that up as soon as it happens. You know, some, some graffiti artists are good. They use, should use their talent to make some money. And, uh, do something good with their talent but then some of them are just running around tagging i mean that's somebody else's property they wouldn't want their own home somebody come tag their own home so why are they doing it here here it is again but this this map looks cool we're a nation of many so that's that's cool right there i like that that mural that's the stuff that people want to see in your town they don't want to see a building tagged because they think it's unsafe and it don't look good and of course trash laying around that ain't gonna help none what we got here on the right my salon in there they got some great businesses in here i hope these they don't let these people run wild and, and bring the town down because these independent businesses need your support and they want you downtown and they want to be a part of this community and hard to do it if you can't get people to come in because you got your buildings all tagged up i like that got some little green rocks in there fit <laughs> all that and you know that little bit of color right in those rocks makes a big difference and there we go again another tag right on top of it somebody's got to clean that off <laughs> there's a new old building it's nice but i like the older buildings myself all right this is just a parking it says parking for cross ties barbecue and car meal mall towing and force so there's a mall that they must have made a mall out of the mill down there let's go check that out as we cross back across the, the tracks <laughs> and here's the station end of the line Looks like some housing over there. I don't know. So I believe this uh, station is a restaurant now. Yeah, the station. There's where you go in. That's cool. They kept it in the card shop. Elizabeth Cotton, Libby, Libba Cotton, Libba.
Cotton composed record freight train, 1958. Key figure, 1960s, folk revival, born and raised on Lloyd Street. I believe the town was called, called Lloyd something before for another man. I think he did live here, so I don't know why they didn't leave it like that. But I didn't. Di I don't dig too much into the town's history. I like to come in here and just kind of learn as I go. And uh, encourage towns to put their history outside like that on the murals and things like that. Because a lot of times people just drive into your town. They won't. They won't go online and uh, start reading about all the history stuff like that. They just want to get out, walk around, shop, and things like that. But it's cool to have that history mixed in with it and you can learn as you go and a lot of towns have done that and that's that's a great thing to do my muses card shop i love this old train depot here i got a train up here on the right caboose a lot of towns will do that gibsonville had a caboose in their town we went up there last week and you can check that video if you want yeah they had a caboose you could walk through i don't think you walk through this one though but they had it, and they used it as a visitor center, and I thought that was a good idea. So, it says the station over here, and then it says the station over here. So I guess this is a pretty good sized little restaurant. Probably gets crowded in town. <laughs> Conductor entrance. <laughs> yeah, another train there. That's awesome. I'm just walking around here. I guess this is the meal. See what they got? They got parking for the meal here. There's a train going. I guess. I guess the train goes back out that way. I'm not sure which way. Seems like I think it goes that way. Anyway, <laughs> I'm drifting. Got another place here. I'm assuming it's a restaurant with all the tables and chairs outside. I see a bunch of people up here on my left will go up toward that direction. They got a Bristow back there on the right, and then they got this creamery. I like that. Nice creamery going and get some ice cream and all. Beautiful windows on that building. Yeah, a lot of towns take these meals and Turn them into antique malls or shops and things. And look how beautiful this is back here. Sitting there working on that. Got good streetscaping and big beautiful windows up there. That's nice. Let's look down this side here. I like the way they did the sticks for that wall fence. That's the back of it there. So this is great what they did here. This is good asset to the town kit wear is in here I don't know what kit wear is but it's in here we got some shopping carts here so not sure we got a little bulletin board there stuff going on it all looks lights up oh man feels good in here we're gonna have to do the exposure though Let's fix it up there for you. There we go. We can see in the shade a little bit better. We were in the shut sun earlier. So this is a grocery store right here. And it's called... I don't see a name on it. Trying to look. Well, Weaver Street Market. Okay, that's cool. You can see all the people out here sitting out here. This morning, some food I guess you can get inside. Reading the paper. <laughs> That's something you don't see much these days. Paper instead of a phone. Beautiful trees in here. It's about five degrees cooler in here and they let you bring your dogs. It smells good through here. Got a salad bar inside. Yeah, I like what they, I like what they've done here. So we've kind of curved off on the side street. There's Main Street down there, where we started to go through them buildings over there. So I'm not sure what this street is right here, but you can find it if you come here. Got some artwork down there. We're going. I don't know. We're going to have to adjust again. Early morning is always like that. There we go. 
y'all bear with me when it gets out of whack like that but in the morning especially with the sun's low in the sky and the men in out of shade i'll have to keep moving it back and forth because i do this on the fly so i gotta keep an eye on it love that i think that's tree frogs if i'm wrong y'all correct we're going around a little bit further so that's north greensboro right there Carborough Police Department. I think that's about it. As, as, as it is in every town you can go on out. And the, there'll be sporadic businesses here and there, but uh, for the most part, I like coming into the center of town where it's all together and you can get to everything by walking. See, that's on the other side there. I don't, I don't really see nothing there. I think we need to talk about it. So I think I'm going to end it right here. Hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour of Carborough, North Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.